And welcome and thank you for joining us here on The Factor on Censor tonight. Now, we've heard a lot of ways to say goodbye to friends and family who have passed on, died. But there's interest in another style of burial called resumation, which is also known as water cremation. It's not legal in Texas yet, but it is offered in Canada, South Africa, and a few states here in the United States. And the advocates say it's great for the environment and can save a lot of money. That's what we're interested in, saving money. Joining me now to talk about it, Deborah Ali Williams and Saheed Ali Hitz from the All People's Funeral Home. Glad to see you guys back here on The Factor Uncensored again. So first of all, for those who are not familiar with water cremation, a resumation, exactly what is it it is an uh, eco-friendly um, alternative to flame and burial mm -hmm. so it's an alternative it's just another option that families have that they can uh, you know have an option instead of being cremated with the fire and being buried interred into the ground they have another option to do aqua cremation essentially they heat the water in the chamber um, and it uses an alkaline solution to sound like y'all boiling people <laughs> uh, that's what it sounds like but it's not <laughs> it's not a boil, not <laughs> not like, it's not a boil. <laughs> and it's, it's illegal here so we're not doing it uh -huh. but um there is a facility that's here that does it but they have to send off the remains to a state that does it and then they return uh the remains to go to the mm -hmm. family or the whatever is left of the remains. Now, besides being eco-friendly, what would be the other benefits to someone who doesn't want the traditional burial with the coffin and all of that? Well, uh, if, if it was available here in Texas, that would be um, another option because basically you're going in the chamber and then there's a chemical that's added. Um, it's 300 degrees Fahrenheit and um, you know, in a mindset of a person, they're not thinking, um, you know, being burned by fire. So if they're being burned by fire, families usually tend to think, oh, that's, that's the, you know, the horrible way. But then it's the same thing with this one. They're thinking the same thing that, you know, the There's body is submerged, boil. it's a boil, it's, they're submerged. Well, standard cremation, 1600 degrees Fahrenheit versus 300 degrees Fahrenheit in the... Now, how long would it take the body from your research and study to dissolve at 300 degrees boiling or in, in the water with, <laughs> I, I keep saying boil. It ain't a crawfish boil, y'all. Don't, don't do my no. But <laughs> how long would it take for the body to dissolve? Obviously, you're going to have remains there like bones, teeth, right. uh, any medical devices that may have been in your body, those will stay. That, that is correct. But how long will it take? It takes about uh, six and a half hours to uh, do the water cremation versus about two to two and a half hours for flame cremation. So it, it's a little longer, mm -hmm. but a faster process. So basically what it's doing, it's doing the same thing that would happen to the remains once they're interred. They would actually decompose um, in the ground. And so this process, they Speed decompose a lot faster. Mm -hmm. And for those who are wondering, bottom line for a lot of families, because you look to cremation to save money, is this cheaper than the fire cremation or comparable to a burial? Where does it stand in price? In price, it's about the same, maybe if not two to three, two to five hundred dollars a little bit more because it's a longer process. The mm -hmm. equipment, of course, you're looking at it and, and the chemical that's used is a little little lengthier And at process. this point, since it's illegal um, in Texas, then you would have to send the remains, as I said, to another state. You have to pay for the airfare, mm -hmm. uh, which is about $600 uh, to Depending get. Depending on where. Yeah. Might as well have a damn funeral then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most people... Now, the, some in the legislature are looking at this as a possibility for the state of Texas, mm -hmm. right? Yes, they have looked at it, um, but it has not passed because. for... I think opinion. I yeah. think it's opinion, personal opinions. Mm -hmm. Some people say it's because of religion. Uh, some, you know, it doesn't want to pass. They won't want to pass it because they say it's not um, respectful. It's not respectful. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, there's, there's, it's like anything else. It's the same. I think that with anything, we have all of the options. I don't think it would be uh, such a bad thing to offer it because it gives the families another Gosh. option. Mm -hmm. We're not, you know, most families are saying we don't, we don't want them to get away. We're not trying to tell them to go away from the flame cremation, but just add the water cremation because for some, that's a better way to go. It's 
you know, friendlier for the environment. Mm -hmm. It's not as much pollution as the regular cremation. And is. we're talking, and in, in price-wise, the fire cremation, <laughs> well, <laughs> it's like uh, the torture show here. The fire <laughs> cremation would be what compared to, in actual dollars, compared to the water cremation? Um, I believe that it, it's, every funeral home has its set prices. You may find a cremation. Give me a generic price. Anywhere from $1,000 uh, to $2,000, $2,800. And just add anywhere from 500 to 800 for water, possibly. possibly right. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for joining yes, us sir. back here on The Factor. <laughs> I hope we haven't scared people to death. Deborah, that's what you'll oh, be not. doing every time you come here. <laughs>